I uh, actually forgot what I was supposed to do today. Wait. Oh, oh! July favorites. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is gonna be my July favorites. Actually, no, I'm lying. It's kind of more like my June, July favorites or April, May, June, July favorites because I haven't done a video in a long time. And uh, yeah, I know there's no excuse. I know, I know. Sometimes being lazy is just something that you have to do. And being unproductive is something that is just something that you need sometimes. Okay? Okay? Okay. Let's get into it. If you like these kinds of videos and you want to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's talk non-favorites. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil by Drunk Elephant. I don't know what it is about this. I mean, I've read good things about this, but it just doesn't seem to like my skin. No, no. My skin doesn't seem to like this. I have oily combination skin. I'm just not enjoying it. It's really expensive, so I'm glad I got the small one. I'm not gonna repurchase it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Next is kind of makeup related, but not really. It is the Clay Paint Nail Polishes by Sunny's Face. I love the colors. The packaging is adorable. I will be keeping it because of the packaging, but damn, the formula is just not it. It's just it's it's not ah I hate the formula I thought I loved it at first but then I kept using it and I just really don't like how it dries it dries down very very patchy I'm just really not impressed by the formula but the colors are just to die for I love the colors I just hope they improve their formula okay next is lotion this by Marks and Spencer this is the China Blue hand and body lotion I love the scent the scent is Oh, the scent is great, but it's just so liquidy, like, it's just so liquidy, and I don't feel like it's moisturizing my skin enough. And I'm actually gonna finish this because I really like the scent. I won't be repurchasing it. I have a lotion to talk about that I prefer over this. Okay, last in my fails is... Of course, there's the pandemic, so whenever I get into the apartment I'm living in, I always spray my shoes, I always spray anything I need to spray with Lysol or with any other disinfectant. And honestly, I don't like Lysol. I don't like the smell. I don't like the spray. The spray is just, it's too harsh and too, like, directional. And it gets into my nose and I just feel like I have to sneeze and scare everybody because I'm sneezing but I don't like it very much it's just really too strong I know they have a different sprayer now but that's more expensive I think I'll stick with another favorite I have you'll see later in my favorites what I prefer over Lysol but yeah it's just it's just it's too strong for me sorry Lysol sorry okay now for my favorites I did mention um, the Sunny's Play Paint. Well, what I prefer over the Sunny's Play Paints are the H&M nail polishes. I love H&M nail polishes. I absolutely love nail polishes from H&M. They have so many colors. They don't have the colors that Sunny's has, like that avocado shade. I don't know. They don't have it in my H&M anyway. But oh my gosh, these are amazing. I love these. I'm wearing these right now. I'm wearing Masala Chai on my nails. Two layers, you give, you get great opacity. These are not streaky, and I just really love the color. So the person who introduced these to me was actually Tati. And yeah, ever since I tried them, I just couldn't get my hands off them. Okay, so the lotion, the lotion that I prefer over the Marks & Spencer one is the St. Ives lotion. I really like this scent. This is the Cranberry and Grape Teeth Oil Body Lotion. I love this. It's thick. It smells good it's 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 so moisturizing this is like my fifth bottle already they have so many different scents and I try I've tried almost every uh, every scent and now they have these little hand lotion things that I'm so excited to buy because you know I always bring my alcohol with me and I always spray my hands so my hands are getting dry so you need a good lotion this is the Lanier lip sleeping mask did I say that right Lanier 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 Laneige this is just like the best lip sleeping mask ever. I don't only use it overnight. I sometimes use it in the morning. And before the lockdown and everything, and we had all had work and everything, I'd actually use this on my lips. And people would compliment me on my lip lipstick. Like they were like they're like you know, ooh, lip gloss. And I'm like, no, that's just lip balm. I just really like this. It is such a moisturizing uh, lip mask. I need more. I need the big one, but it's just so expensive. So yeah, sleeping mask, 
by Laneige, 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 Laneige. In comparison to the Lysol, I prefer Sol Bath. I just bought this because Lysol was not available, so I had to buy this. I'm so happy I bought it because the spray is so much better. It's so much more like, as opposed to Lysol, which is like, the scents are very, you know, they're very mild. You get 400 grams in the Sol Bath. And in the Lysol, you get 510 grams. I just prefer this, and I'll keep buying this. I do like it, yeah. Another favorite, and this is the L'Oreal Unbelievable Brow. Let me just fix my ponytail. Oh my gosh, I love this. I have the color light brown. It's not that light, but I think it works for me. I do like it. I have it on today with some powder. I love this. This keeps your hairs in place, and it stays on like a tint. For maybe three days if you don't take a bath but I mean you know you have to, you have to take a bath it does stay on for a couple of days even if you wash your face I like how it fades it doesn't fade patchy it does fade quite nicely it's a doe foot applicator it also comes with like a dual ended applicator with a spoolie on one end and with a flat eyebrow brush on the other end what I do is I put it on my brows and then it's a little bit messy and then I start to shape it with a spoolie and then I start to remove whatever is extra with a uh, what do you call that the, the earbud until I get the shape I want they don't have to look even and then it's done Yay! It's unbelievable brabable. Cringe. The makeup removing products that I'm going to talk about today is Pond's Vitamin Micellar Water in Brightening Rose. And I, I prefer micellar waters that do not have very strong scents to them, that do not have alcohol. And this does not have any of those. I do like how it removes my makeup. What I do usually is I use the balm and then I wash my face with my cleanser and then I put this just to make sure that everything else is removed and then yeah I like this or do I use the balm first then I use this then I use my cleanser I don't know but yeah this is, this is good I like this another skincare item is this Morgan Miller collagen facial oil there are a bunch of different oils in here sunflower oil uh, vitamin E it has collagen and Okay, don't hate me. It has coconut oil. I know, coke. I know, I know, I, I know. That's one of the reasons why I did not expect to like this. I was like, oh, it has coconut oil. I'm definitely gonna break out, but I need something. I have to try it anyway. I like it. Second to the last, who here likes coffee? This is a manual coffee grinder. Do yourselves a favor and buy a coffee grinder if you like coffee. Buy a coffee grinder, manual or automatic. It's different. If you make coffee from freshly ground coffee beans, the flavor is just much more intense, much more flavorful. It just takes uh, several minutes before you can actually have your coffee. You will thank me later. Lastly is something you will... It's just... This is the Bare Bone Nipple Cover. I bought these because I wanted to, you know, compare them to my old nipple covers. This is for when you don't want to wear a bra, um, but you don't want your girls to be showing and popping it out. Um, these are amazing. So these are like super thin. This is, it's so thin, you just peel the plastic off and then you put it in your, your boob. And it just looks so seamless. You wear a cami top and it doesn't seem like you're wearing anything. I mean, you know, this is covered, but it doesn't seem like you're wearing any nipple cover. And I love the little snap cover. It's great. It's a little bulky, but still it keeps my nipple covers protected. I love this. But yeah, I will be linking all of the things I bought down below for you. None of them are affiliated. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Those were my favorites for the month of June, July. Yeah, and pretty much for the rest of the year. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to comment down below your favorites for the month of July and June and eh. Like this video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.